1969, around 125 million Americans watched the Apollo 11 mission on TV. 55 years later, around 125 million Americans watched Super Bowl 58. The common thread? Nielsen ratings. A lot has changed in those 55 years. In 1969, there were three channels on broadcast television, and now the media landscape is fractured like never before, with every viewership medium available across devices and dozens of streamers taking 42% of TV share. But with all that's changed, Nielsen has continuously innovated its methodologies to adapt to the new environment. You see, the core of Nielsen ratings is a real human panel. Thousands of homes across the country opting in to have their viewership monitored and researchers at Nielsen using that to estimate national viewership. To this day, the panel continues to drive these core ratings, but there have been updates. In 1980, they began tracking new technologies like VCRs and cable. In 1987, the People Meter debuted, capturing daily viewer demographics and paving the way for tailored advertising. By 2005, Nielsen adapted to time-shifted viewing as DVRs like TiVo gained popularity. In 2018, they introduced the streaming meter to track the rise of streaming, and by 2020, personal people meters have expanded to include out-of-home viewership. Now, to account for the complexities of modern TV viewing, Nielsen is integrating big data from over 75 million devices into their audience measurement from partners like Roku, Comcast, and Dish. The breadth of big data provides stability while the panel continues to report on real-person viewership. This new methodology will blend the best-in-class third-party panel metrics with the gigantic scale of first-party viewership from big data partners. Watching TV used to mean families gathered around a single screen, but today it's so much more. The modern age of media requires modern measurement, and Nielsen is doing just that with Big Data Plus Panel. To see more about measurement and media trends, visit Nielsen.com.